Now I'd like to show you a few of the methods I like to use to discover new niches for me to focus on. While I do like to keep checking back on my list of top selling themes, the ones I just covered for you in the last module, that's essentially looking backward, looking at what has sold well for me in the past. Of course, many will continue to sell, but I always want to keep looking forward as well to keep growing. Here's how I do that. One way is to read the news and stay on top of trends. A couple general news sources I read pretty often are the New York Times and CNN. Those can be great to tell me what are the trends or issues people are dealing with today and they'll be focused on tomorrow. But even better are news sources that focus on some of the specific topics I mentioned in the last module. Concepts like investment, technology, and innovation. I like to follow news on these particular high commercial value topics by reading sites like CNBC, Wired, and The Verge. Regularly checking in on these sources lets me see new topics when they're on the bleeding edge and often not yet breaking into general news. Getting an early jump on new financial and technology topics lets me beat the competition and get higher placement on search engine results pages as those topics become more in demand with buyers. Another way to investigate and find new topics is to do deep dive searches within Adobe Stock, and I'll show you how I do that now. So we're going to start first with a blank search here, showing us there's 442 million search results. We're going to first narrow that down to images. That gets us down to 410 million results. That gets rid of the videos, templates, 3D, and we're continuing to drill down from there. We're going to say aging. Now, how many images are there related to aging? There's 1.7 million. There's a lot out there. We've got to drill pretty deep into this to find an opportunity, find a unique niche we can carve out and serve some content for. We're going to say black, aging and black. That goes from 1.7 million to 104,000. Still, that's a lot of results. Let's show aging black exercise down to 1,500, and that's much better for you to be dealing with. That's 15 search results pages, much better than showing up in the middle of something with 1,000 search results pages. But I'll show you how to narrow this down even further to find an opportunity. If you look at all these images here, what do you see that's common among them? Most of them are horizontal in, in their orientation. Very few vertical. So if we were to say how many aging black exercise images there were in vertical orientation, you have 286. That's two or three, three actually, search results pages. What you see here is that most of these images that come up aren't even black or African American people. A number of them just have black in the image, whether black clothing or black wall in the background. If you generate some AI images showing black or African American people, aging, elderly people who are also exercising, you will not only be in the first couple of search results pages, but a number of these images don't even match what the search is for. They just happen to have black clothing on. You would actually be one of the most relevant images a customer could find. So if I were you, I would mark that down as a topic maybe you want to focus on. But let's keep diving down and see if we can find some more. Now what I want to look at is risk and safety, how to keep safe in a hazardous situation. So I'm going to say risk and safety. 878,000 images. Let's narrow the search down. Risk safety in the workforce. 1,800 search results. Getting a lot closer to a number that we can work with and really stand out. So you can see people in hard hats here. That's something that I want to maybe focus on, we'll say hard hats and Hispanic. So we're going to create images potentially here for Hispanic people wearing hard hats in the workplace, avoiding risk and following safety procedures. There's nothing here. So obviously there's something to be said for this topic, this set of keywords. Obviously we drilled down, made this very specific. So if we take out a couple of these, let's take out workforce, just show Hispanic people wearing hard hats, avoiding risk, exercising safety. There are 75 search results. And as you can see with some of these, these don't look necessarily like Hispanic people. Perhaps these are actually Hispanic people. They don't necessarily look like it at first glance, 
But if you came up with something that was clearly a Hispanic person wearing a hard hat on a work site, you'd have something that really jumps out, at least on this page of 75 search results. That's a single page. You could obviously make it onto that page as long as you're accepted. If you wanted to go further, like I said earlier in the last search we just did for vertical oriented images, let's click that here, see how many there are. 17. And most of these are of the same model in different situations. You could really stand out if you've got a different looking person in a different scenario, wearing a hard hat, trying to stay safe in a vertical orientation, you'd pop right up to the very top of this page most likely and get some buyer's attention. Let's keep looking for more. Let's look at hospital. So along the healthcare theme that we looked at a moment ago, 5 million, but let's narrow it down just to images. We're looking at 4.6 million, 4.7 million. That's a lot. Let's see if we can drill down further. Let's say a child, child in the hospital. We get this down to 287,000. Now this is something you wanna make sure you are looking at high commercial value topics, either starting with a topic that's on my list or do something else that, that you've heard sells well, you've got some evidence to show that it's a high commercial value theme. I've heard people say when I've explained this concept before that, well, I could show uh, Batman riding his skateboard uh, on Mars in a rainstorm and that's highly specific for sure. You, there might be no results on that but nobody needs those images, something like that. Again, you have to make sure you're starting with something high commercial value to begin with and then narrow it down in a way that something you can create and it's something that you can actually visualize somebody using. It's obvious that somebody, a Hispanic person in the workplace wearing a hard hat, vertical orientation for use on a mobile device like a phone, there's real world application for that where there isn't necessarily real world application for Batman riding a skateboard on Mars. So let's drill down further hospital and child, let's say Asian, 28,000. So we're narrowing it down further and further. And let's say it's a doctor with this Asian child in the hospital. Or it could be an Asian doctor with a child in the hospital. 17,000. One other thing you can do to stand out in these search results is to use the race and ethnicity filters here, the ability to allow the customer to say East Asian, clicking that box, and suddenly what happens is you go all the way down to 768 results. That's about seven or eight pages of search results. The way you can get into this more narrow number of results for when customers click on this race and ethnicity box for East Asian, what you need to do to be able to make it into that filtered result is upload a release form for the model that's featured in your generative AI images. That means the person that is featured in the image is based on a real life person. Now it could be yourself if you're Asian or if you're black, Hispanic or any other group, you could fill out a model release for yourself, use your photo of yourself or someone you know, a family member, a friend, a neighbor. If they're giving you permission to use their likeness in some generative AI work, have them sign a model release form upload that to Adobe, use that when you're uploading your images. That's how you get filtered into these search results. So if a customer actually clicks on one of these boxes, that narrows the results down much further and allows you to appear much higher in those results. A great opportunity if you're able to do so. Let's take a look at one more. I mentioned earlier that time is a great concept. It's performed well for me and many other people. Let's do a search on time. What we get here is 7.2 million. Let's also say hourglass. We're down to 162,000. And let's say person watching the hourglass. We're down to 6,200 results. Of course, we're just interested in images, so that knocks it down to 6,000. Let's instead of just a person, let's say it's a child watching the hourglass. 437 results. Getting an image approved on this theme gets you into five search results pages, potentially high up if your image becomes popular in this topic. Now some of these don't even include a child looking at an hourglass. They're just not very well keyworded and entitled. There's, clearly there's no child in this image. There's no child in this image. So if you actually did a good looking image of a child looking at an hourglass, maybe the child is concerned, running out of time for a homework assignment, for a test, you could place pretty well for a search like this. 
And again, like we narrowed the search down before, looking at vertical images, which are becoming a hotter and hotter format as more customers want to get images that display well on a phone. If you can create vertical oriented images of a child watching an hourglass, 73 search results. And again, a lot of them aren't even, aren't even showing what's described in the search. So you can place very highly. You can be one of the most relevant images on this page of search results and do very well with it.